All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat, and of course, all the wonderful people watching on YouTube later as well for Rakdos Midrange. This is our first time to play this deck with the uh, new additions from Ravnica Allegiance. We are going to be um, trying out some of these. I'm excited to have Remadi Reveler in here. I, I'm a big fan of this card. It's just a two drop that gets to, to uh, you know, um, rummage away a card. Um, it's, it's another two drop that's that's good with to get earlier before Midnight Reaper. And I want to try out this Captive Audience also. This is a, a card that just ends the game, basically. Uh, yeah, this is a really powerful card. If you're not like super far behind, ca Captive Audience is awesome. We also get a new removal spell in Bedevil uh, to help out here. And Theater Horrors for the sideboard for the against the control decks to be able to bring in. So, Rakdos Midrange looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and see how it plays out. Haley the Panther. Practice midrange. This one's looking spicy. Oh yeah. Already liking the looks of this deck. What's today? The twenty sixth. Wow, we are almost through with January. It is already the 26th day of the year. Hmm. So, of course, 26th day of the year, only 319 more days to go in 2019. Let's... Go with this. I don't want to discard my Immortal Sun to Reveler. Maybe we discard Siege King. Mm, I like the Squire. I like being able to play Squire first. All right, I'm getting the Abzan Tithe deck up on YouTube. It's almost ready to go there. Esper Control. Bow, bow. I would like to draw a land. Especially this good moment craving. Come on, land. Alright, good. Got full value there. Have you tried Jeskai taking turns in New Standard yet? I, I have not. I haven't tried redoing that one with uh, New Standard. Hmm. Lava Coil is a good one to discard to Reveler. Hey, CCN. Good evening. So there's consume. Matthew Ori with the donation. Thank you so much, Matthew Ori. All right, we got a deck for tomorrow. So what do we have here? A new version of the deck to try. Tomorrow is better. I think to try Siri is better. I don't know, some auto, some auto correcting with voice recognition, recognition there. But anyway, I think it stalls out really well and can win a lot of matches. I also may consider doing Dawn of Hope in the main board over Dovin. Okay. So we're... Alright, so Azori's super friends again. Switching up some cards. Cool. Alright, if anybody in chat wants to see the Azori super friends deck for tomorrow. Also, Green Hat Man. Getting that sub in here. Welcome, Green Hat Man. Thank you so much for that support. Really do appreciate that. Well, we have not been drawing too well here. Just drawing lots of removal spells. So let's go ahead and get rid of a coil. Get a squire. No lands. Alright, so we're down to 61 subs for the next 12 hour stream and at 13 on the day. 
I cannot do a 24 hour stream. I just, like, physically, I, I can't stay up for 24 hours. So, yeah, 24 hour stream not happening. <laughs> Let's slow. Keep up the pace. Hey, Todd, do you still keep in touch with Charlie and Ashton? Love you on the show. <laughs> uh, Teamer got bumped for this donation deck uh, with Marty Control here for later. Um, I'll try to contempt this. I'm doing this before attackers because if they had a negate for that contempt, then I would have, um, then I would have, you know, attacked Teferi. So they can get a, a Remodi or a Midnight Reaper. What you want? What about a 48 hour stream then? <laughs> I've done like 18, I think, is about the farthest I've done. The reason why TV with the sub, sub number 14, thank you. Now, I think it's probably Teferi. I don't know. I like pronouncing words differently sometimes. Um, because it's boring saying this, the same words all day the same way. So I like saying words differently, but it's probably Teferi as far as the correct way to pronounce the card. They got Seeker Squire? I was not expecting Seeker Squire. Teferi! It's like, uh, did y'all see the game last night? Yeah, another blown call by the Teferi. <laughs> Give a little hug, because I'm not sure I'd want to watch anybody sleep for eight hours. I get jealous. Hmm. Midnight Reaper, of course, is non-token. Yeah, Super Bowl next weekend. Yep. Oh, that's a good that's a good point, Matthew. So Matthew says that we're already at eleven hundred and thirty YouTube subs. Should fifteen hundred or two thousand be a twelve hour goal? Because we had a, we had the twelve hour goal at a thousand. Um. Yeah, I could certainly make a, another. Yeah, we could certainly do another twelve hour goal for those. Do we? Do you do a twelve hour for every five hundred? YouTube subs. I know my response. Hold that thought. We did every every thousand. Hey, what's up, boot? Hmm. All right, again, I'm gonna cast this during my turn to see if I need to attack to fairy or not. All right, we're attacking Teferi. Is 500 subs on YouTube worth an extra four hours of stream? Yeah, probably. I guess I my normal stream day is seven hours, so I guess it's an extra five hours. Normal, you know, I have a list as like three to 10. So the status, Whirler combo ended up pretty decent, I apparently. Yeah, it's it's pretty decent. It's not like amazing, but yeah, it's pretty Let's skip pretty to decent. The good part. All right, so yeah, so fifteen, so fifteen hundred subs is a, is a different reason for a twelve-hour stream. So if you're not if you're not subbed on YouTube, you definitely should be doing that. Is Bedevil better than Downfall? Probably not. I know I have the Immortal Sun, which would make this whole attacking, like, you know, Immortal Sun is, is awesome. Um, I really don't want Immortal Sun to get countered. I, I want to just kind of make this attack here first and just kind of see what my opponent does. I know it would make these creatures 2-2s two and they wouldn't wouldn't die to the 1-2. I just, you know, our opponent has two cards. I want... 
I want to see what they have. Basically here. Time for plan B. Okay. As as so now it's just one card left. No counter spell. Uh. Dang it. If, if they would have had the two cards in hand, if they would have just let Teferi die, I was not playing Immortal Sun. But they didn't let Teferi die, and they and then they were down to one card, and so I wanted to try it. I don't even know if making them use mana on their turn's worth it. No! Uh, I just messed that all up. I'll just let them draw another card. I just messed that all up. So I, I put the upkeep stop on there because I was going to do it on their upkeep. And then I just... We will meet again. Or else it didn't really matter. We need to move quickly. But I was already passing turn and it was too late. Well, that was a mess. So they got an extra card for no reason. Man, that last card being a uh, counter spell is pretty rough for me. Yeah, I didn't have enough mana to be able to shoot, use it to throw a goblin, because it cost three mana to throw a goblin. Oh, it only costs two! Gosh. I'm just bad. Why was I thinking it was three? I should probably read my cards. Because I certainly could have just thrown that, thrown the, thrown the siege gang and killed their one-two. All right, I have not played this game very well. It's going to happen, though. I'm going to play one game bad during the day, and this is one. It's more interesting when you don't read them. <laughs> that they were tapped out when they played that insight and I could have grabbed that insight from them. It's the card I wanted to get. They don't have anything like really that that good for me to get. Kalua King, welcome back for the third month in a row. All right, that brings us to sub number 15 on the day. So it's going to be pack time after this match. Mad King Max says, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Aw. Hopefully you play just a little bit better. Yep, we're gonna gonna be opening up a pack after this game. Or after this match. That's good for me. I can take an insight. Well, I guess if they, they just play a land, they can nah they can still insight. I'm just really dead.
It's unlikely we're going to be able to beat all those cards in our opponent's hand. I don't think they've had any rats yet, so... They... Yeah, they've, they've not even had any rats yet. There they go. Yeah. The five cards in hand or yeah, or the next four they're gonna draw with these insights. Alright. Let's go to game two. We get a bunch of duresses and theater fours. Certainly helps out. Lava coils are out. Um I have captive audience. That card's pretty cool, but they play like Mortify and a bunch of counter spells. I don't and like Teferi can tuck it. I don't think this is actually a captive audience match. Um, and then some mix of Bedevil, Contempt, and Reborn. Certainly going to keep Reborn. Um, maybe take out two Contempt. Hmm. I'm gonna cut a siege game commander. And a contempt. Would a one blue, 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 draw three card sorcery be good enough to make standard? Absolutely. It would be great. Eh, great is strong. But yeah, no, I think so. Four mana, draw three. I guess it's like sift, but sift you have to discard a card, but you don't have to discard a card. But it's you, you, you. It would see, stand it would see standard play, but it wouldn't be great, maybe. It would be reasonably powerful. Just first thought off the top of my head. Doom Whisper is for the aggro decks. It it's a really good threat against aggro to end games quickly. Okay. Hawkeye is the best cat. Aren't you okay? Hmm. All right, got that ritual set out of their hand. So they do have a Dream Eater. Um, yeah, that's a won't be doing anything for a while. Grixis is really tough because of its weakness to enchantments right now. Definitely. So yeah, they're gonna be able to mortify on end step. Hmm. Don't want my Phoenix to get countered. Should I just folly back the squire? But then I'm looking at only having three lands. Alright, so their last card is Chemister's Insight. Presumably. 
they, you know, they paid two life for that watery grave there, which doesn't, which also doesn't make any sense when they have glacial fortress in their hand. Um, but oh well. So they're gonna want to insight. So I'm gonna go ahead and Phoenix. Get the sabotage out of there. Okay, so I guess it's contempt. Not insight, it's contempt. Which is better for me. Because insight draws a whole lot of cards. Contempt just trades one for one. You know, it just trades just like the Sinister Sabotage would. Okay, stream. What do you want? You don't play with the pen? Right. Cleansing Nova? That's not gonna stop a rekindling Phoenix. Any thoughts on Grixis and New Standard? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're talking about Grixis a little bit ago. I'm worried about Grixis's ability to um, Grixis's ability to handle like the enchantments and everything. I don't, so I, I'm not thrilled with playing Grixis in this format. Way to go! Mr. Koth, currently 15-1 in arena with blue-green ooze. Awesome. You're still new to Magic Wu-Tang? Well, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the, the game. Hope you're having a lot of fun with it. And uh, the important thing to be doing whenever you're new to Magic is to try to be learning. Learning is very important. What was that? What? Seen the smile over you. All right, so this should be Dream Eater time. Sounds very reasonable. So they surveilled all four cards over. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you bite me? Yeah, it was three lands and a chemist's insight. This is kind of a tough, tough decision for me of what to do here, honestly. I really want to play this theater fours. 
But I think Phoenix is just the best thing to do is to have Phoenix in play. I I kind of regret sacrificing the Memorial to Folly. Don't feel like we have enough lands. All right, contempt down. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna lead with Remadi. Attack with Phoenix. So I play theater, I get their sabotage out of their deck. I get the sabotage out of their hand. Um... All right, hopefully we draw land. Let's see, we got 25 in the deck. And we have three in our graveyard. So we've gone through uh, eight out of 18 cards. So it's not really that likely that we draw a land here. They they kind of have more free reign to activate as Kanta and look for a, a Wrath, which does not look like they're doing that. Sorry I'm late. You need to take a time out. Land? Hmm. No land, but we get to kill this Thief of Sanity. And kill Teferi. You just let me know if you're up for round two. So that's pretty good. They still have Ascanta going. Oh, I love that they don't get to binding this immortal sun. Love they use the binding there. Come on, land, please. Ugh. Uh, we are really far behind now. Ascanta is just is a lot better than what we got going on. Like you may be thinking that we're doing okay and, and winning, but no, we are we are losing. They have a lot more mana and they have Ascanta. We are we are not winning this. We needed to land a Mortal Sun. They they'll likely have counterspell for a Mortal Sun now. We needed it one of these last two turns. Well, hopefully this last card's not a, a counter spell. Dang. Ugh. Oh and one. Search for Kanta is just too powerful. We could continue to play there, but we're not winning that game. Certainly feel like I could have made better decisions in that second game. The first game, obviously, you know, I played that first game really bad, but I certainly feel like I could have made better decisions in that second game. In places. Um, if I would have duressed on turn one. Usually I don't like duressing on turn one. But just how it turned out my opponent having a duress and everything. Would have been more beneficial for us.
There probably is room for Field of Ruin, honestly. J J G R. Honestly, I probably should be playing a Field of Ruin. Yeah, um. Well, mana is, is. The mana is just fine. Uh, yeah, I could certainly see having a Field of Ruin or maybe even two in the deck. Um. Yeah, the mana is just fine in this deck. Our opponent wants to get counters. DD stands for donation decks. Those are decks that people have donated to see. That's the card I need to coil. Kind of surprised our opponent didn't attack at all. all right, I'm going to discard this Eldest Reborn here to... to re... I don't think making them sacrifice these creatures is too valuable. So the question is, do you think black and white is competitive now? They're... I mean, it depends. You know, like, there's there's not really a specific just black-white deck right now, but, I mean, there are certainly a lot of good black and white cards. Uh, all the, like, there's, there's not colors that aren't competitive, you know? If you say is, and then you say any two colors at all competitive, the answer is yes. Hmm. Just one immortal sun. So, what land? So, cycle in that siege gang commander. I am keeping contempt though, because I I would certainly be scared of another midnight reaper. So I want another exile spell. To field instead of a mountain and a swamp, probably. Or I think we could probably just take out. I don't love memorial to folly. I would probably take out one memorial to folly. So our opponent just wants a flying creature. I'll I'll give him a one one flyer. Instead of taking two every turn. Feeling pretty good about Rakdos midrange. So far. I you know, we're 0-1, but I didn't play very well. I should probably be attacking with Rekindling Phoenix also. Yep, Tarker. This is the deck I put together. Okay, I'm glad I didn't attack with Rekindling Phoenix also. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, I'll just trade off the Midnight Reaper. I know I could have like Phoenix jump block the Knight of Malice. And, you know, we'd be looking just fine there. Alright, so, another... We're not dead to another heroic reinforcements. We're almost dead. We'd go to one, because I would contempt the Knight of Malice. We go to 11. 
11. And then we have lethal in the air. All right. Let's see, so we got Ritual of Soot, Moment of Craving, Doom Whisper as our sideboard cards here. Uh, Captive Audience comes out, Eldest Reborn out. Um, so Siege King and Immortal Sun. Siege King good, Immortal Sun uh, maybe one. Maybe not even the one. If I just take out Midnight Reaper also, how is that looking? Don't know if I love all these bedevils and contempts. I don't hate it though. Do I need these daredevils? I guess daredevil, spell-wise we only saw like heroic reinforcements from them. I'm gonna get two Midnight Reapers back in. All right, we'll do that. Michael with a sub. Let's get some hype boats in the channel. No, Theater of Horrors would not be very good here. I wouldn't want to spend a turn to get the enchantment that doesn't affect the battlefield into play. Oh, I don't think I got a pack the last time. So I think we're I think we're down a pack. So let me so after this one, we'll get we'll open up our pack. I had someone shame concede when they tried to cleansing Nova my board when I had a Vivian emblem. Well, I'm not sure if that's a shame concede. That sounds like the game's already over. <laughs> but it's a nice try, though. You know, you never know if it if it can still work. It's a respectable try. Maybe the emblems you know, uh, not working properly or something. So, the problem with Remadi here is there's nothing I really want to discard. Um, I certainly want the Ritual of Soots, and I want a Lava Coil in case they have a Midnight Reaper. And I like Siege Gang as like a follow-up to these Ritual of Soots. I could just wait two turns and then just cast Ritual and just take you know, five and then five again plus whatever they play. I think I want the Remani to draw, but it's it's not a May. It's you discard a card and draw. Um So I guess Siege Game Commander is gonna go ahead and leave. Cause I can't really afford to not hit my fourth land drop. Yeah, Remadi has been not as not as good as I as I would hope. Honestly, it hasn't been as impressive. I'm glad I have a blocker here, and I'll just go ahead and coil the Judith. Yeah, Cry of Carnarium would work on a Vivian Emblem, but their creatures get plus two, plus two. Opponents playing Mardu Aggro. They got a few of their own card choices in there.
So I think that's first strike. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This is good. I'm gonna try blocking it, Judith. Remadi helped out there. Um, the value decks I kind of define as decks filled with creatures that generate value either by enter the battlefield effects or by uh, abilities, prolonged abilities while they're on the battlefield. Hmm. May not be casting this other ritual set. And crack this folly, get back Siege Gang Commander. Oh, I didn't get back Siege Gang Commander. Whoops. My bad. Yeah, I could set up a remodi draw three. That's not such a bad idea. That's honestly not a bad idea. Um, Cause this Judith, this Judith is certainly gonna be a problem. I actually kind of like the Remodi draw three. <clears throat> Cause I can just discard this Ritual of Sid. I, I don't, I don't really need to play it. Not yet though. More Phoenix. Alright, got that win. We're on the board. We're on the board and we are uh, getting a pack. Because we got to 15 subs on the day. Let's see. We've gotten Ixalan and Allegiance. Let's go with an M19 pack. Thanks, Ale. This is certainly getting, like, we're, we're going to start getting this collection, my collection filled up so much faster. Uh, I can't tell you just how many, like, I, I, like, opened up, like, hundreds of packs of fifth cards that it's just not going to be the thing anymore. It's going to make it a lot easier. Donation decks are $20. And there you go. Thanks, thanks Boot. Yep, and there's a lot of information all about that. Um, in the info panel down there. OG oh, says, Yo, Todd, thanks for the Teamer Gates deck. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying that one. Yeah, Teamer Gates, it's good too. It is, uh, it is very good. Hmm. Hands don't get too much better looking than that one. Question is, how many packs total have I opened since RNA came out? I'm not sure, honestly. I uh, probably close to a hundred. Sylvan Brushstrider. 
So the debate here is either just playing Squire or Lava Coiling the Llanowar Elf. Um, I'm going to bolt the Elf. Yeah, Burtley Man went out yesterday at 2.45 Eastern. Donation decks are, are decks that the viewers donate for. And, uh, you know, decks that viewers choose to see played on stream. I have updated your Mardu Angels to best of one matches and it's performing very well with a 66% win rate. That's awesome. Way to go, Dezen. Dezen. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, it must have been... Yeah, maybe there or... Maybe your, your email's not on your Twitch account? Burly Man, also, if you, if you whisper me your email address... I will, um, I can just manually send it to you. Um, is it? Well, I like Seeker Squire. Isn't Orzhov Enforcer like an Orzhov card? Like a black-white card? I just kind of assume it is. I'm not sure exactly what Orzhov Enforcer does, but I'm not really looking to replace Squire. I like Squire. we get back up. Um. And then we're just going to have we're just going to bedevil this skitter eel. They they play Llanowar Elf. That's not current set. But it, it kind of seems like it for the rest of the cards. Oh, thank you. I was really worried that that sound would just continue on into perpetuity like it did the other day. Yes, Phoenix is very good. Yeah, that we had that sound get stuck yesterday. Uh, I can see it, like... Conceding with that sound on the stack. We had the infinite burble yesterday. That card's pretty good. No, like it just kept on going every single match, you know? Like you had to close out the program. It was... It just stayed with us. Cause like, yeah, cause I conceded the match like with that on the stack, I conceded the match. And so then it just stayed on when we went to the main screen and go to the next match and everything. Yeah, never mana for a mortal son. Never have it.
Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, that stony strength. It's just like, hey, look at this card I have. All right. It's a little different. Um, let me get this going here. Uh, I guess I should be playing Ritual of Soot. Entire Fleet Daredevil doesn't seem like it's going to do anything. They didn't really have any targets there. Uh, I'm just going to bring these Ritual of Soots, cut the Daredevils and the captive audiences, and just go with that. Super weak to enchantments? Yeah, you can place... Yeah, there there likely needs to be enchantment stuff in the sideboard. Uh, Cinder Vines is a pretty decent option there. Um, or, you know, just other things. Crutching Canopy, Brontodon. But yeah, certainly... There could, yeah, that could certainly be an upgrade in the sideboard. Getting something to deal with enchantments in there. Now, Doom Whisperer improves the aggro matchups, like mono red, mono white, mono blue, um, all those kind of matchups. The, it, like those fast decks, um, especially like the burn decks, you know, like they'll kill you if you don't do anything for a while, and, and Doom Whisperer is a 5 drop that speeds up the clock quite a bit. And see, so you know, like when you don't want Eldritch Reborn, you know, you keep taking out Eldritch Reborn and uh, Immortal Sun and things like that and bring in Doom Whisperer. Since all the guild sets are out, what's the third Ravnica cycle about? Three colors? Yep, it's going to be a three color set. No, you're not usually dead to aggro before you get to Doom Whisper on turn three. I mean, there's a lot of other cards in the sideboard that are interaction to help you stay alive. You know, like we have Moment of Craving, Duress if it's a burn deck, Ritual of Soot. We have lots of other removal. You, you can certainly get to turn five. I don't think our opponent realizes this that this is just Lava Coil's world, and we're just living in it. It's not our world, it's Lava Coil's world. Lava Coil, having lots of Lava Coils would be great and limited. That's kind of what our opponent was doing there. Um, all right, I'm getting this email sent out. Will I do ranked best two out of three when it comes out? Um, Likely, um, I'll probably be, I'll probably do, you know, mostly like these events, but also some ranked, you know, like in there. So likely like one or two of the things that, um, one or two of the things that I, matches I play will, will likely do that. Okay. All right, before we get to our next match. I think this is a good time to mention Ting Mobile. Ting Mobile you use, uh, you only pay for the data you use. If you go to toddstevensmtg.ting.com, that uh, site right there, 
you can switch on over to Ting. There's no contracts at all. It's just monthly. Um, so you, if you stay somewhere where um, you're on Wi-Fi a lot, you don't use very much data or minutes, um, anything like that on your phone, you can uh, switch on over to Ting and hopefully save a lot of money. The average phone bill on Ting is only $23 a month. Um, and by going over to, to totsemsmtg.ting.com, you get $25 off your phone bill. So you basically have to try one month free uh, for the most part. Um, and uh, and there's no contract. So if you don't like it, you can you can leave. You know, it's you just go month by month. That's it. Shadowfight says, I use Ting. It's awesome. Average bill is 17 bucks a month. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So I uh, use Sprint. Uh, Nash nationwide coverage, so get co good coverage as well. So check it out. ToddStevensMTG.ting.com Yeah, everywhere really does have Wi-Fi these days. Yeah, like myself, I just, you know, I just work from home here. Um, you know, so I, I don't have to use data hardly at all anymore. Okay, what do we got? Good hand. That's what we got. Does anybody have the... Does anybody have a link to the deck Jim Davis was built for best of one to beat Mono Red? Somebody had that the other day in chat. Um, I got a whisper of... From somebody that is really struggling with Mono Red and best of one. They might have a link to that best of one anti red deck. That's act yeah, that's really cheap in uh, in the U.S. I've had I've had a phone bill um, for over, like over a hundred dollar phone bills before. Yeah, I think I think that's still I think that's the deck though. Yeah, cuz it only has six sideboard cards. I don't know why there's the those sideboard cards, but yeah, that looks like that's it. So, let's send that over here, but yeah. So, I I played the wrong land to start with. I should have played Memorial Folly to start with, but nothing to do on turn 2 anyway, so we're all good. Hey TRT. So you, you started playing Magic for a month now, and I'm consistently encountering these mono red aggro decks. What can I do about it? I don't have many cards, and one Sarkin Dragon Control deck. Um, we were actually just talking about that. Um, but you know, if you don't have a lot of cards, like that that deck has like a lot of uh, mythics, mythic rares, and everything. You know, putting the link back here in chat of. Uh, a deck that you can use to be able to beat the mono red decks uh, in best of one. Um, with three colors, it's, Resplendent Angel is probably a little tough. Like white, white on turn three kind of thing. Like he's only playing three lands. But I guess he's got enough without it. This is tough. Where are the lands at? We had 20 I have 25 lands in here. Maybe this needs to be a 26 land deck. I mean, I I do like 26 land decks. 
All right, there's one. Our opponent's only chilling with four cards over there, so it's not like they... Um, it's not like we need to be, like, super scared of, like, what they got going on. Correct. And also, how the how the algorithm works with best of one, it makes it makes mono red even better, as well, um, for how you get to just look at two opening hands. So I could play another Phoenix, but I am um, oh I do not want to I do not want to discard my hand. I'm gonna just get rid of the Daredevil and just try to hit land drops. Well, we're going through our deck. So that's another plus side of playing mono red. It, it really is good in the, the best of one um, with that algorithm. Best of one, it really is a different format than regular standard. Because of that algorithm and not having sideboards and everything. It's not not for me. Not a huge fan of it. Need to worry about be worried about settle. Maybe I attack with two creatures instead of three because of settle. Nope. Looks like the opponent just has lots of lands. I'm certainly not cracking this Memorial to Folly. Settle I'll always gives respect. priority, so you could see that they did not have Settle. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so we're trying to defeat the Esper Menace. We lost to Esper earlier. But I also didn't play it as well, so it's kind of my fault. Uh, Coil out. Duress Theater in... And then we're looking at like, you know, trimming like these reborns, contempts, bedevils. I think I, yeah, I took out captive audience, actually, because it just costs so much, easy to counter, and they have disenchant effects between Teferi, Mortify, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I think I may just take out the eldest reborns. I, th I think I, I trimmed like one bedevil and one contempt last time. I think. Actually, we didn't really see any. They actually may not have like good things to daredevil. Actually, I'll take out Daredevil. Daredevil's value may have gone down with Esper being the control deck of choice now instead of Grixis or Jeskai. I don't know. Really, the best thing for us to Daredevil is... Um, uh, Chemistry's Insight. Daredevil or Revitalize, that's per that's perfectly fine. You know, turning in turning in the Daredevils into Cyclers, that's good. I had to watch you to figure out what a cyborg is used for. <laughs> So why are people trying to make Demir work? Best guess is because Thought Erasure is an amazing card. It's very good. It's the biggest pull to being Demir. The 
art on Blood Crypt is really cool. I like that staircase. It's like a staircase to a, a window, to a gate. I assume that's a staircase. Yeah, we'd probably need to get more aggressive to be able to fit Spawn of Mayhem in here. It's an escalator. Many people underestimate the importance of sideboarding, knowing your metagame and what to swap in and out of a given matchup can easily add 10% to your win percentage. Oh, probably even more, too. Um, yeah, it's... The difference between sideboarding well and not sideboarding well is, is huge. No, do not end the turn! Ooh, that was so close. That was so close. It almost ended the turn. Um, yeah, V important. Hmm. Hmm. The easy play is just to play Duress here. Or Rekindling Phoenix. Either one of those two. They could certainly have Chemister's Insight. I kind of want them to waste this mana and I hold up Contempt for a Teferi. I have Eldritch Born though. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna play this. I want the Duress to protect the Immortal Sun. That's the Immortal Sun's the important card in our hand, right? So other things getting countered. Not a big deal. If I play Duress, they just counter it and I just use one mana for my whole turn. That's not a, that's not very good. Not on Azorius control. I feel like he should probably be playing a third color with Azorius. Um. Maybe you don't need it. Right. Let's skip to the good part. But yeah. If you want to make it like a, a mil, Azorius control mill deck, I think that's I think that's reasonable, especially uh, in like best of one. I think that's very certain. That's very reasonable. All right. Cry moment, Kaya's wrath. I don't take the moment. So I know Immortal Sun would have been great to play here, but I, I was too worried about Negate or Syncopate to play Immortal Sun. So we're still going to be able to Eldritch Reborn. Um, the Wrath effects kill their Thief of Sanity also. I guess they also have zero black mana, and both Wrath effects take double two black mana. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. Let's get some high votes in the chat for our new sub. Sub number 17 on the day. And we're down to needing 58 subs on here before our next 12 hour stream. Also, when we get to 1500 YouTube subscribers, we're we doing a 12 hour stream there. Give me this. This isn't a fight you can You know what? I'm not So they didn't even draw a land in all those cards? Doesn't look like it.
We need this extra mana for our Siege Gang Commander. Why no sun right now? Because I have a Planeswalker in play. And I don't I don't want my Planeswalker. I want to be able to keep activating my Planeswalker. So yeah. Because my, my Planeswalker is sweet. All right, there's nothing our opponent can do to excellent timing. survive this. I'm not ready for this quite yet. So might as well get make sure this Teferi is off the battlefield too, because we just have lethal here um, by just attacking and then sacrificing the goblins. All right, two and one. It's pretty weird that our Azorius opponent put all those black spells in their deck. And they're just playing blue white lands. We could also go Immortal Sun Pump and win also there, yeah. Alright, Maskalar, have a good night. Ooh. Okay, that's better. Yeah, we'll keep some more Midnight Reapers. Gotta draw some cards. Watery Grave. Is this Esper yet again? I think I'm willing to cycle this Lava Coil. Oh, are we 3-1? Are we? Yeah, we are 3-1. Yeah, we beat Mardu, Simic, and then Esper. And now we got Esper again. Good call on getting rid of that Lava Coil. Could have been like Grixis or, you know, something like Thieves Sandy or Nicol Bolas. Like that, that Lava Coil may have done something, but glad we cycled that away. Any good Azorius decks? Probably, probably playing like an Esper Control is probably about where you want to be as far as Azorius goes. So if I play the other Midnight Reaper, like they're they're just gonna cast down the that Midnight Reaper in response anyway. So I didn't like it wasn't a big deal of waiting on the the Midnight Reaper because if I just play it, they're gonna cast down response. Could certainly be a, a settle the wreckage though too. A shock in like that. Even if it was a settle, we would be able to have more mana for captive audience next turn, and it'd be easier for me to crack this folly for to get this Midnight Reaper back. All right, well, I'm certainly going to get this Midnight Reaper back now. Um, the Abzan hero deck from yesterday wasn't wasn't my favorite, but it was it was you know pretty good when you had Hero Precinct one. But we had just lots of games where we didn't, and I mean I did well with the deck, but it wasn't one that I. Like too much. Hmm. They bend it to fairy. That's kind of weird. They're just putting in tap land. What is going on over here, opponent? What are you doing?
I'm, they have to have another Teferi in their hand. Because, like, that, that Ascanta is about to... About to flip anyway. Like, you you can't just bend a Teferi if you have none in your hand. This card is just way too good. I mean, I would love for them not to have a Teferi, but they have to have one. There we go. I am not. No time for a break. All right, and we draw the Immortal Sun. We actually have the mana for it. Dang. Stop that now. <laughs> Well, good thing we got that Absorb out of their hand for our, our Immortal Sun that we're about to draw this next turn. Because we're going to need to uh, resolve this Immortal Sun. Yeah, we have we are playing against lots of Teferi decks. This is our our third Esper deck this league. Okay, let's try to win the cyborg games. Get the duress theater. At least I've figured out how I'm cyborging this matchup. It's pretty easy. Daredevil is good on like contempt. Like in Daredevil contempt, a Teferi. But of course that requires us to have six mana and we have still have a good amount of bedevils, contempts, and everything. Angel of Grace has been really impressive for me playing in, in all the angel decks. Uh, I've been really liking it a lot. I haven't played against Jeskai in a long time. All right, so we're going to be uh, getting rid of the Sea Chain Commander with our first Remodi, and then, you know, we'll kind of decide after the, the next one. Come on, deck. Hmm. Yeah, our opponent is on five, but main they may still be just fine if they can hit their land drops and I can't. Where's our black mana? Wow, this is really unlucky. This is really unlucky. I mean, we have a lot of black sources in here, don't we? Yeah, we have more black than red. 9, 10, 18. We have 18 black sources, which is a lot of black sources. And we cycled through a couple cards. Okay, there we go. There's a start. 
That'll eat a counter spell. Alright, come on, land. I'm no. Get this Elvis Reborn going. Land, please. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. We are still in it. The opponent's like, what's going on here? Which one do I want to sacrifice? It's a tough decision which one to sacrifice, to be honest. No, control is not unusually strong in the standard. People just... People like playing control decks. It's like... It's it's a very popular deck to play. People love playing to fairly. Like, people love drawing cards and everything. Control is very popular to play, but it's not it's not that like Esper control is really good. It's just really popular to play. It's not overpowerful or anything like that. I mean, our opponent's up a game. They're just having one Teferi die. This must be like an accidental disconnect. I can't imagine that they're like this upset about an El just one Eldest Reborn. Before the last rotation, no, control wasn't very good. Esper was, was the preferred uh, control deck, though, with Settle the Wreckage. It was all right. It was, it was fine. But yeah, Esper had Settle the Wreckage, uh, Scarab God, Torrential Gear Hulk. Just threw the computer across the room. Will never let my Teferi die. Yeah, control decks have always been incredibly popular. Um, people love playing their counter spells, and people like instant speed a whole lot. People love playing just counter spells, playing their draw stuff at instant speed, playing their their planeswalkers, they're unbeatable. Playing lots of sweepers. People love sweepers that destroy a bunch of creatures. Yeah, had that so that had to be a disconnect there. That was an easy win. I think if we didn't draw that land, we just won an entire match because we drew that land. He had the double explode. All right, four and one. We have another final boss. Another final boss. I need more, more final boss music to fill up the Spotify playlist. Or like to, I should make a Spotify playlist of final boss music. I just have our Final Fantasy VII boss music. We should probably have like an entire playlist for the final boss fight, though. So if you have suggestions for me to look look at there. So Final Fantasy X boss music also. Uh, you know, it's got to be on Spotify.
but I'll I'll search for that when I have time. Carmidi Barana. Dark Souls. Never played Dark Souls. Legend of Manas. Yeah, I'll have to just kind of see if I can find them on. Oh, should I do should I do Rocky music? Like the Rocky theme song? Opponent's playing red. We probably need this bedevil. Maybe not. I'm gonna go graveyard. I wanna just get to this immortal sun. We got the bedevil anyway. Um, I think as a Drex is still pretty, uh, pretty strong. Haven't seen it nearly as much. It's not as popular since the new set has come out as people are like trying new things and everything. Um, but it's still been pretty good the times I've played against it. So no, oh, so somebody said, Immortal Sun against Red Aggro. Well, they played Shiv and Fire earlier. It's, it's not a Red Aggro deck. They're playing Shiv and Fire. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's the big red deck. And that's certainly what they got. Back to our playlist. So next turn with the Immortal Sun, our Rekindling Phoenix will be a 5-4. I fight with a dragon's rage! Come to me. Another demanding dragon? Ah, uh, Hellkite. I wish I had that Bedevil right about now. I didn't realize they're gonna be so dragon heavy. I was worried about like their own phoenixes, like that, them playing rekindling phoenix. When I explored that over, so now Sarkin's done for. So these just trade, but I think I need to make that trade. I don't think I could just take five. I do have, uh, I can't just Folly back the Phoenix though. I do have Memorial to Folly. Um, and I can even Memorial to Folly the Phoenix and cast it next turn because of the cost reduction on the Immortal Sun. And this thing does not have Defender. You can attack with these 
you can attack with some one two token. You can attack with like a an elemental token here. Get into combat with it. So yeah, they're likely going to shoot that, but that at least kind of takes their turn. They just did one and one? What? It says it's a one-two. It says it like right there. It's not going to do it, opponent. That kills it, right? Oh, I was like, what is going on? Does that not kill it? Alright, I'm, I'm just going to get Sarkin off the battlefield in case Immortal Sun leaves. I guess. I have like Ixalan's Binding. Does not lose. Wait, can I not Spectacle? Oh, right, I didn't deal damage to them. Hmm, right. That was the reason to attack them. Well, I'll follow that thing back. Right. Do I even want to follow that back? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not, it doesn't really matter on our end. We got these rekindling phoenixes, and I mean, we have the immortal sun. Mortal, the immortal sun's gonna win the game. Zerf, it's going really good. We are, we're doing, we're crushing it today, man. That Abzan Tithek was a lot of fun to play earlier. We had almost a three-hour league with that. So they have a Shivan Fire that we can Daredevil. We have a Phoenix Battle, the Battle of the Owls. Why would it reduce the spectacle cost? Because it's still casting. So, uh, so like you see on the right over there, it says for spectacle, you may cast this spell for its spectacle cost. So it's still casting, and so casting costs one less. not on my playlist. What is that? Oh, because I have that just added in the queue. Right. That's okay. I see. That's that's the one in the queue. Gotcha. Alright, we got two phoenixes out of there. 
Looks like we're going to game two. So is that... That sounds like a pretty good song to add to our final boss playlist, though. Uh, let's see. Mono red. Hmm. So a bunch of dragons. I mean, Doom Whisperer can fight can fight dragons. I guess Doom Whisperer fights dragons better than Siege King Commander does. I guess I suppose that's true. Um, no moment ritual. Don't need those. Um, I think this may be it. I could see playing theater over captive. Captive's pretty expensive. It's going to see not playing captive. Do you want theater or duress? It's either one duress. It's either one duress or one theater. Um... I'll play one theater. Captive hasn't been good yet. We haven't played it. But I've also sideboarded out against everybody. Hmm. I don't like hate this hand. Especially since we're up a game. And we can uh and we can kinda of take a little bit of a risk, but you know, like us not hitting land drops has been a big problem. They were we knew they were going down to six, so we knew they like they had a six card hand and we were just gonna be able to hit our land drops and you know, be able to basically play all the things we draw. Uh, we just hope we don't draw lots of lands after keeping a land-heavy hand. And then our opponent goes down to five, so even better for us. Uh, after the third captive audience, the third trigger, captive audience doesn't do anything, but it stays in play, right? Uh, yeah. That sounds right. I'd have to read the card to for exactly, but yeah, I think so. Hey, coupon bug. Well, it's certainly risky keeping the six land hand. Um, you're hoping you don't just draw lots of lands, but... So we've drawn... I guess we've drawn three lands and a coil. See, there we go. Doom Whisperer right on time. Turn five. Perfect. Just like we drew it up. Now we can surveil and make sure all of our other draws are good. What's the lowest your opponent has mold to and you still lost? I've certainly definitely lost like mold of fives. I wonder if I've, I've I mean I'm sure I've lost mold of four. I don't I don't know. I don't like I know I've I know I've won on three. I've won on four. Like I've won on three in modern. It's a lot easier to win that in modern. Um
I've won on four multiple times here on stream on Arena and Standard. Uh, you know, at least three times that I can remember. So that's kind of common. Oh, note. I, I would rather play 26 lands than 24 in this deck. We have really struggled with hitting land drops in a lot of other decks. I, I would much... I prefer having lands. 23 is just nowhere close you can you can play. The thing is, is like 23 is like more reasonable when you're playing best of one because of how the the algorithm works of how it looks at two um, cards or two hands. But you you certainly cannot play 23 lands normally. Um, need to replace a Doom Whisperer. Um. Maybe I just don't care for that squire. I guess I just don't need the squire. Uh, so I guess you want something against aggro. There. I don't know, you can kind of just play basically anything. Any, like, normal things. Um, maybe just put a spy glass in there. So a spy glass would probably be fine. A find finality. Put another immortal sun. You can put a siege gang commander, Eldest, Eldest Reborn. No, you don't really want need those. Cry of the Carnarium. Cry of the Carnarium is actually probably a good choice there. All this Phoenix back. Do you think best of one burn deck could be tuned for best of three and tier one? Yeah, it's yeah. You can certainly play the best of one burn deck in tier in uh, best of three. Um, Absolutely. There we go. Final boss defeated. We have gotten to the five win plateau for the second time in a row today. Five and one, getting all these golds. They make it seem like this is so much more gold than like the like than the uh, other so like it's 2100 gold or 1700 if we would have lost like they're making it seem like 1700 to 2100 is like a huge huge increase but it's it's really not <laughs> mono red aggro or mono red burn i like mono red aggro more okay so we got 40 gems, 2100 gold. Yeah, Rakdos midrange. Felt pretty good. We we didn't play really a, a big variety of decks. We played against a lot of Esper. Um, the captive audience doesn't seem necessary at all. Uh, a little disappointed in that one. I think I would think I'd like to take that out for next time we play it. And also, I think we could certainly use. At least one field of ruin. Um, and uh, if we're not playing captive audience, what are we playing? Maybe I just want another bedevil. Bedevil's pretty cool. I'll take out one swamp for that. There we go.
No, Sea Chain's not weak. Sea Chain's really good. Could play Third Contempt instead of Fourth Bedevil. Yeah, I'll try the Fourth Bedevil. I've been, been happy with that Bedevil. Okay, so there we go. Rakdos midrange. And Hawkeye saying bye to the people watching this later on YouTube. So yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can uh, follow along with all of the updates of all the videos. And I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.